In this lecture, we will learn what sets are and how to work with them in Python. A set is an unordered collection of elements that does not contain any duplicates. Set elements are contained inside of curly braces. We mainly use sets when we want to make sure that our collection does not contain any duplicate elements. To start, let's create a variable named collection and assign it to a set containing the elements A, B, and C. Note the syntax. The set is inside of curly braces and just like most of the collections we have learned about, each element is separated by a comma. To add an element to a set, we can use the add function. We will type collection.add and pass in d to add the element d to the end of our set. Then we will use Python's print function to output the collection to the console. When we run the code, you will notice that our set now contains four elements, a, b, c, and d. If we want to remove all of the items from a set, we can use the clear function. For example, we will type collection.clear and then print out the length of our set. When we run the code, you will notice that zero was printed since all of the elements were removed from the set. To remove a specific element from a set, we can use the discard function. For example, let's call the discard function on our set and pass in the string A to remove this string from the set. Then we will print out the collection to the console. When we run the code, you will notice that the set contains the elements B and C, but no longer the element A. This is because we discarded that element from the set. To remove a random element from the set, we can use the pop function. This function will simply remove one element at random out of the current elements in our set. For example, let's call the pop function on our collection and then print out the collection to the console. When we run the code, you will notice that one of the elements was removed from the set. For these next examples, let's create a variable named collection2 and assign it a set with the values C, D, and E. If we want to see which elements are in one set or the other, but not both, we can use the difference function. We will print out the result of collection.difference and pass in collection2. When we run the code, you will notice that the elements A and B were printed, since these are the elements in collection that are not also in collection2. The intersection function allows us to retrieve the elements that are common to both sets. For example, let's print out the result of collection.intersection collection2 and then run the code. As you can see, a set containing the element C was printed, since C is the only element common to both sets. We can also combine two sets into one using Python's union function. For example, let's print the result of collection.union collection2. When we run the code, you will notice that we get a set that contains the elements of both collection and collection2, with no duplicate C, of course, since even though C is present in both sets, a set cannot contain duplicate elements. When working with the set data structure, two terms you will come across are subset and superset. A subset is a smaller set that has elements in the larger set. A superset is a set whose elements appear in a smaller set. Python gives us the is subset and is superset functions to determine whether sets are subsets or supersets of each other. For this next example, we are going to assign our collection to variable a set with the elements a and b. Then we will print the result of collection 2.is subset and pass in collection. When we run the code, you will notice that true was printed since collection 2 contains the elements a and b, both of which appear in the collection. Since collection 2's elements appear inside of the collection, we say that collection 2 is a subset of collection. Similarly, we can use the isSuperset function to determine if one set is the superset of another set. For example, we can print the result of collection 2.isSuperset and pass in collection. When we run the code, you will notice that false was printed since collection 2 is not a superset of collection 1. In the next lecture, we will learn about Python's none type.